Uh, really good team win. I, I thought we, we played well, um, save for one drive on, on defense the, the entire day. And I uh, thought the offense was a little up and down in the, in the first half, but uh, found a rhythm there in the second half and uh, did their part as well and, and um, special teams too. So uh, we've got a lot of uh, still improving to do, uh, especially offensively. I uh, wasn't, wasn't happy with uh, third and fourth down and uh, obviously getting a, a field goal blocked is, is unacceptable. But um, you know, winning is really hard and winning on the road is even harder. And it doesn't matter where it's at or who you're playing, uh, especially in this conference. Uh, it is really, really difficult to win on the road. And proud of our guys. Um, and we'll celebrate this one tonight and, and get to work for, for TCU tomorrow. Uh, injuries, uh, PJ locked with an ankle sprain. Uh, and then there towards the end, Tennille Carter uh, hit his head on the ground. So he's being evaluated. Uh, won't know anything um, you know, on either of those guys. Uh, we'll know a lot more tomorrow with uh, to Neil being evaluated again, and then you know PJ getting an MRI. Questions? How big was it for your defense to help set up your offense with with great field position today? Yeah, I mean they're 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 carrying us right now, and um, uh, if there's one side of the ball that I would like to carry us, it is that side, and um, you know that's number one on our plan to win is to play great defense, and uh, we're doing that uh, pretty well right now. And uh, the one thing. I admire about this team, and I'm really proud of them, is um, even with the offense's inconsistencies there in the first half, um, you know, the defense kept playing. And I, I think that it's a bit of a badge of honor for them right now, knowing that um, we're going to uh, probably for the rest of the year, you know, need them to play great uh, in order for us to, to have a chance to win. And, and they relish that, and they, they look forward to the challenge each and every week, and I uh, was really proud of them. Yeah, it was, um, you know, a lack of confidence is um, can be really detrimental to, to an offense. Um, and for us to, to be able to block every, I mean, we saw four down front, three man front, bare defense, lots of blitz, Tampa two, cover three. I mean, that was, uh, we went into the week knowing that they were going to be multiple and, and boy, were they. And um, we settled down there, and I, I think it's it's really important uh, for our guys to to kind of have that confidence uh, going in uh, to this week and the rest of the season. I don't know. Um, you know, I have to look at the film. I, I thought they they broke tackles, um, which was encouraging to see, and um, you know they they slithered around in there when things weren't blocked perfectly. Uh, they found creases and, and threw their bodies uh, through the creases. And so um, was proud of them. They protected the football, uh, which is, is obviously uh, always a concern when you're playing true freshman uh, running backs. But um, I, I like what I saw. Um, and uh, those guys need to continue to, to practice the way they have. Um, I thought it was important. Was that the one that put us up 24-7 uh, to, to get a three-possession lead? Uh, we were playing great defense. Uh, and to, to have it at three possessions I thought was important because I, I was pretty certain at that point that, that we were going to be able to, to hold up defensively and, and wanted to make sure we came away with points and, and push that, that lead up to, to the three-possession mark. What did change show you today? It looked like he, there were times where he got in rhythm and was really feeling things. Looked not a lot of incompletions, but pretty solid minus that one interception. Yeah, I was really, really uh, excited and happy and, and proud for him uh, to, to have not played for as many weeks as he, he hadn't and uh, stayed engaged. And you know, credit to Tim Beck and, and the offensive staff and Shane as well for staying engaged and, and being there uh, when his when his teammates needed him uh, you know I'm sure you know he'd like to have that pick back uh, as the right read just just poorly underthrown um, but other than that you know there's there was still some rusty moments I saw out there but um, yeah when he's in a rhythm and, and seeing the defense really well he's he, he performed well for us Big 
Yeah, I, I think, you know, we, we matched up well with Baylor. That, that's uh, definitely part of it. Um, so, you know, we got, we got to improve third down. That was, we had been pretty good um, other than the last couple of weeks. And, um, you know, so that's, that's a concern for me, um, you know, putting our defense out there too much uh, and not extending drives. So uh, I, I think we saw enough that we're confident that we can get there. Um, are we there yet? I, I would hesitate to say that, but um, I think we saw enough that there's, there's some confidence on that side of the ball that, that we can, um, you know, that we can continue to improve. Really proud. Um, we had talked all week about this being the most important game of the season uh, and not because of what had really happened in the past or who we were playing or what their record was, but um, the fact that it was the next one and that we had an opportunity to go um, correct some of the mistakes that we made the previous couple of weeks and and, um, and win a conference ball game on the road. And um, I was shocked. Uh, you know, 5.45 a.m. wake up call. There was no dopey eyed guys. There was no, you know, wipe the sleep out of their their eyes, none of that stuff. They were they were intense and, and ready to go from from the the word jump. Um, you said something about your defense that different people emerge with you. You know, Bonnie today, Hager for the last two weeks. Is that some sort of sign of even more progress that you don't need the same players to play well every I hope so. I think when you have defensive players that are in position to make plays and they make them, that's always a good thing. And, uh, you know, so the the plays that get run on offense, we have no control over. And uh, what we, we have control over is, is our effort and intensity and physicality. And I think for the most part, the, that was on display today. And, uh, you know, th you're right. Uh, you know, different guys have, have made plays at critical times for us. Uh, but I think that's just a sign of maturity and, and great preparation that, you know, when, when the play is there to be made, that, um, you know, it doesn't matter uh, who's in, in that position to make that play, that the guy's going to make it. I remember you said when asking about, someone was asking about Bouchelle versus Ellinger in terms of running, you said Ellinger's maybe a step faster, but Bouchelle's still got some giddy up. Is that what he showed you today, especially with that 28-yard touchdown run? Yeah, I mean, I, he's not a statue by any stretch of the imagination. Um, uh, you know, he's uh, not quite the, the runner, obviously, that, that Sam is, but um, he is definitely serviceable. And, uh, you know, when defenses <laughs> force you, um, you know, by completely overloading the box and maybe playing some, some man coverage and uh, you still want to keep the ball on the ground, uh, he's... He's a, an <laughs> adequate to above average option to do that. Uh, he's not a hundred, you know. I think the the fact that he just wearing that brace. I think from a pain standpoint and stability standpoint, he's probably as close as he's going to be the the rest of the season. But just having to wear that brace probably limits him just a, just a hair. Um, but. You know, I, th I think from a pain and stability standpoint, he's, he's pretty good. Coach, you mentioned, the, you mentioned the defense has been carrying you all season. How much better can they get, in your opinion? I, I think the sky's the limit, to be honest with you. I, I think, um, you know, if we can play as well as we have in, in the past game the last couple of weeks um, and, and still be able to defeat blocks and get off blocks and stop the run, um, you know, I, I don't know how much better, but, but I think the, the sky is the limit, and these, these kids are more and more confident. I mean, there, there was one of the things I was proud of was, I mean, you know, one of our captains goes out in P.J. Locke, and there was no drop-off that I saw, you know, putting Antoine Davis in there at, at nickel. And so um, even the, the key backups are, are um, performing for us right now. And so um, I'm excited to watch them progress. Last one at four and four here at the end of October. Which way does this thing break? Oh, I don't know. I I just I I want to go one and zero this week. Yeah. 
And, um, you know, the big picture is irrelevant right now and uh, really was happy and proud of our guys' um, um, approach to this week and that 1-0 mentality. And I, I think the fact that we were able to do what we did, having that approach, it, again, lends confidence to that's, that's the, the approach that we're going to need to take each and every week. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.